Good day everyone! I'm Shikina Joyce B. Kayaka, Grade 3GT from Lapu Lapu City Central Elementary School. Today, I will discuss to you changes in matter. We all know that matter may change in size and shape and in state. To change in size and shape, we may have it by twisting, folding, cutting, molding, and breaking. Temperature also affects the physical state of matter. From solid to liquid, liquid to solid, gas to liquid, liquid to gas, solid to gas, and lastly, from gas to liquid. Physical state of matter from solid to liquid. I have here a bowl of ice cubes. Let's put these under the sun for a couple of minutes and observe what will happen with the ice cubes. Heat increases the temperature of the ice cubes. It makes the ice cubes melt. The temperature at which a solid starts to melt is called its melting point. Ice or solid water has a melting point of 0 degree Celsius. As you can see, ice cubes turned into liquid. This process is called melting, changing from solid to liquid from liquid to solid. I have here an ice cube tray. Let's put some water in it. Let's put this in the freezer and wait for a couple of hours. Let's wait and see what will happen with the water. The water turned into solid and this process is called freezing changing from liquid to solid. The temperature at which a liquid starts to solidify is called its freezing point. Ice changes to liquid water when the temperature increases to more than zero degrees Celsius. From gas to liquid, hold a mirror in front of your mouth and blow. Do you see droplets forming on the mirror? The air you exhaled changed into liquid in the form of water droplets. The temperature of the air you exhaled is the same as your body temperature, 37 degrees Celsius. The mirror has a lower temperature. When air comes in contact with the mirror, it changes to liquid. Condensation is the process of change from gas to liquid. From liquid to gas. Let's have an electric kettle and put some water in it. it and turn it on to boil the water. What have you observed? Water changes to gas or water vapor. Heat increases the temperature of water. It makes the water hot. Heat changes water into gas. The process of changing liquid to gas is called evaporation. 
from solid to gas. I have here mothballs. Let's put some in a container. And put on top of the table for a couple of hours. Let's observe what will happen. What have you observed on the size of the mothballs? Yes, it's getting smaller. Mothballs undergo a change from solid to gas. Mothballs slowly disappear as they turn into gas and mix with the surrounding air. This process is known as sublimation. From gas to solid. A good example of changes from gas to solid is an ice frost. Since we do not have an ice frost in the Philippines, let me show you a video. Let's watch this. This is an example for deposition. Deposition is gas to solid. In the last video, I told you guys this happens a lot in the place I live. Moisture in the air becomes a solid as a sheet of ice. This happens a lot in the winter. That's why in the morning we have to clean our car's glass. So recall, matter changes in size and shape and in state. Temperature affects the physical state of matter from solid to liquid. This process is called melting. From liquid to solid, this process is called freezing. From gas to liquid, this process is called condensation. From liquid to gas, this process is called evaporation. From solid to gas, this process is called sublimation. From gas to solid, this process is called deposition. That's all everybody. I hope you learned something today. Thank you and bye-bye.